Hi friends, uh, welcome to this video on Packet Tracer activity DHCP and DNS servers. Here we can see the objectives uh, part 1 configure a static IPv4 addressing, in part 2 configure and verify DNS records. We have a flash background here in this activity. You will configure and verify static IP addressing and DHCP addressing. You will then configure a DNS server to map IP addresses to the website names. Packet Tracer only simulates the process for configuring the services, DHCP and DNS software packages. Each have their own unique installation and configuration instructions. Exactly. So uh, this uh, DNS and DHCP uh, they simulated here. Firstly, we will come to uh, part one. Here we can see configure static IPv4 addressing. That step one configure the inkjet printer with the static IPv4 addressing. Yes, here we can we can see that uh, inkjet printer right uh, the home office computers need to know the printer's ipv4 address to send information to it the printer therefore must use a static ipv4 address click inject and to click the config tab which displays the global settings statically assign the gateway address as 192.168.0.1 and the dns server address as 64.100.8.8 then we have to click fast Ethernet 0 and statically assign the IP address as 192.168.0.2 and the subnet to mask address as 255.255.255.0. Then close the inject window. Well, we will uh, configure this uh, inject printer first. Here we can see our inject uh, printer. So we will come to that. Okay, we'll reduce the size. Right here we can see the config. Then we'll go to settings, and here we can see uh, gateway. So here we are going to give uh, the gateway address that is 192.168.0.1, and we will set the DNS server that is 64.100.8.8. Yes. And now we have to uh, set the IP address for this inject printer. We have to go to this uh, fast Ethernet 0 and uh, here we can see the IP address and subnet to mask. Here we are going to give 192.168.0.2 yeah, and uh, the subnet to mask is uh, 255.255.255.0. Yes. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Configure WRS to provide a DHCP services. Click WRS and to click the GUI tab and maximize the window. The basic setup window displays by default. Configure the following settings in the network setup section. So change the IP address to 192.168.0.1. Set the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 then enable the DHCP server, set the static DNS1 address to 64.100.8.8, .8. scroll to the bottom and click save, close the WRS window. Yes, we will uh, configure this uh, WRS now. Here we can see our WRS. We have to go to GUI and here we can see now we are in the, uh, I mean by default uh, we are in a basic setup window. Yes, now we have, we will uh, set, uh, I, I mean the IP address here. Yes, so we have to set 192.168.0.1, right. Oops, one right. And we have to uh, specify the subnet mask here. I'm going to give 255.255.255.0, right. Now here we can see the DHCP server, we are going to enable it. And uh, here we can see by default uh, some informations. Anyway, we are not going to change that. Uh, we are going to uh, set this uh, static uh, DNS now. Right. So static DNS 1. Here we are going to set uh, 64. Right. 100. 
dot a dot eight yes now we are going to save the configuration yes and we are going to close it now we will go to step 3 request DHCP addressing for the home laptop this activity focuses on the home office the client so that you will configure with DHCP our home laptop and tablet click home laptop and click the desktop tab IP configuration click DHCP and to wait until the DHCP request is successful right home laptop should now have a full IP configuration if not return to step 2 and verify your configuration on WRS close the IP configuration window and then close the home laptop window right we will uh, configure we will uh, request for a dhcp addressing uh, for the home laptop now here we can see your laptop i mean the home laptop you have to go to desktop ip configuration here we can see the dhcp option we are going to request for the ip address requesting ip address yes here we can see it's successful so it got the IP address 192.168.0.100 and here we can see the default gateway and here we can see the DNS server uh, what we set in that WRS uh, here you can see 164.100.8.8 now we will come to uh, step 4 request DHCP addressing for the tablet uh, click tablet and uh, click the desktop tab IP configuration Click DHCP and wait until the DHCP request is successful. Tablet should now have a full IP configuration. If not, return to step 2 and to verify your configurations on WRS. Right, obviously this tablet also will get uh, the DHCP, I mean uh, IP address from uh, DHCP. Uh, we will come to that. Yes, here is our tablet PC. Right, we will come to our desktop IP configuration. Here we are going to give a DHCP, it's requesting for IP address. Yes, here we can see the next IP address 192.168.0.101 and submit to mask, default gateway and to DNS server. Now we will come to step 5. Close the IP configuration window and then click the browser. Okay, that means uh, from the tablet, uh, we are uh, going to uh, click the browser. In the URL box, uh, type 10.10.10.2 for the central server website. Yeah, this is the IP address of central server. Or 64.100.200.1 for the branch server website. And to click go, both websites should appear. Yes, we will verify that. Reopen the web browser. Test the names for those same websites by entering central server.pt.pka and to branch server.pt.pka click on fast forward time on the yellow bar below the topology to speed the process right we will verify this now coming to the topology here we can see central and here is our central server also we can see a branch uh, here we can see the branch server yes We'll come to the tablet here and the browser. Here we are going to give the IP address 10.10.10.2. Yes, here we can see central server. Yes, and now we are going to give 64.100.200.1. And press go. Yes, this is branch server. Here we can see we were getting uh, the website from uh, both the central server as well as uh, branch server. Now we, again we will come to the browser and here we will give uh, the name of that uh, website. So we will try with uh, central server dot pt dot pka and we are going to verify. Here we can see uh, it shows the host name unresolved. 
also we will try the branch server so branch server dot it's pt dot pka I will press go we are getting uh, the same message host name unresolved right now we will come to uh, part 2 configure records on the DNS server configure a famous dot DNS dot PKA with the records for a central server and branch server typically DNS records are registered with the companies uh, but for the purposes of this activity you control the famous dot DNS dot PKA server on the internet click the internet cloud a new network displays click famous dot DNS dot PKA and to click the services tab DNS uh, add the following uh, resource records yes we are going to add this central server dot pt dot pk with this address branch server dot pt dot pk with this address close the famous dot dns dot pk a window click back to exit the internet cloud yes so we will uh, do this uh, configuration now yes so here we can see our internet cloud we are going to click on that yes now we got another uh, network so here we can see the famous dot dns dot pka come to services uh, we have uh, dns services yes we are going to click on that now we are going to add this information so uh, resource or record name we have uh, central server dot pt dot pka and we have to specify the address yes here it is 10.10.10.2 and we are going to add it yes and uh, we will add another record uh, that is uh, branch server yes dot pt dot pka and uh, here we will give the address that is 64 dot hundred dot 200 dot 1 and we will add it yes here we can see uh, whatever we added now central server and branch server yes now we will close this window and we will press back now we will come to the last step verify the ability of client computers to use dns now uh, that you have configured DNS records, home laptop and tablet should be able to access the websites by using the names instead of the IP addresses. Yes, because we added these records. Uh, first check that the DNS client is working properly and then verify access to the website. Well, uh, click home laptop or tablet. If the web browser is open, close it and uh, select command prompt. Verify the IPv4 addressing by entering the command ipconfig slash all. You should see the IP address uh, for the DNS server. Ping the DNS server at 64.100.8.8 to verify connectivity. The given a note here. The first two or three pings may fail as packet tracer simulates all various processes that must occur for successful connectivity to a remote resource. No problem, we'll try that. Test the connectivity of the DNS server by entering the commands uh, nslookup central server dot pt dot pka and uh, nslookup branch server dot pt dot pka. You should get a name resolution showing the IP address for each right we'll try that close the command prompt window and click the browser verify that a home laptop or tablet can now access the web pages for central server and branch server right we will verify uh, this now we will try from our home laptop right so we'll come to command prompt here we are going to give ip config all and here we can see the DNS server uh, 64.100.8.8 yes now we are going to ping to this uh, DNS server so ping uh, 
dot hundred dot eight dot eight. Yes, now we will see. Oh yes, we are getting the replay. Yes, <coughs> sorry. Now, as they mentioned, we are going to test the functionality of uh, the DNS server by entering the commands ns lookup. Right, we will come to that ns uh, lookup. And uh, we have to give uh, that the uh, uh, page name here is uh, central server.pt.pka. Yes, here we can see the details. Uh, this is the server, DNS server, and uh, here we can see the address of uh, uh, this uh, web server. Right. Uh, now we will try branch server. Yes, branch server, right. Here we can see the DNS server. Okay. Also, we can see, yes, here it is. So, this is 64.100.200.1 is the IP address of uh, this uh, web server. Now, we will close the command prompt and to come to the web browser. Yes, here we are going to give the website. Yes, here we have central server dot pt dot pka and now we are going to yes we are getting the central server okay now we will uh, check with the branch server branch server oops oh spelling mistake here we have to give in right now we'll verify yes we are getting branch server now uh, we have seen we able to uh, access the web pages uh, for a central server and a branch server using uh, its name. Here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100. And we completed this packet tracer activity DHCP and DNS servers successfully. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.